Gosh, and, and who are the right people to, to fix this? Last time, you mentioned something that made sense, that, hey, it's the people who know the jobs to be done the best that, um, you know, and know how the system works today that may be best to fix it. And you mentioned physicians who run for office. So I'm, I'm wondering, why is it important for physicians to run for office and what excites you about this movement? So I, in general, I think physicians need to step up to the plates and fix medicine and, mm -hmm. and subsequent health care. We've been pretty much sidelined during all of this. So my fellow physician entrepreneurs, I give them a great deal of credit. The people who attend Innovator MD, um, it is just, you know, unbelievably talented, brilliant people all coming together, all physicians who have seen solutions. So, so I think doctors, um, you know, are, you know, are entrepreneurial, as we said, by nature, we're problem solvers by nature. Um, one of the things that I learned to appreciate is that, you know, here I was in my 50s taking on a task, taking on financial risk, taking on personal risk to kind of devote time and energy into a startup to change the world, right, to fix something. Running for office is very similar for a lot of physicians, and, and I didn't realize that. We have doctors around this country who were very successful physicians. Many of them are still in practice, um, and they were like me. They hit their kind of their 50s, and so when they said, I want to fix something, how do I fix it? I complain all the time, we need more doctors in Washington. That's kind of how the vets worked, right? You know, you have mm -hmm. a lot of veterans, and a lot of bad things happen to veterans, and veterans started to run for office. And then now you have members of Congress who are vets. So guess what? They get it, right? <laughs> so when you're talking about defense bills and they're talking about appropriation for like military combat or what, you you got people that are sitting there who can raise their hand and say, you know what? I've you know I've been there, you know. And I think that is so important. We we need to have physicians and nurses, uh, pharmacists. People in healthcare, frontline people going into office, I think is is so important because um, because again, very much like me and my fellow physician entrepreneurs, they're entrepreneur, you know, they're doing so, they're 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 entrepreneurs, they're, and they're they are you know, and they're running for office, uh, they're raising money, <laughs> just like they're pitching, mm -hmm. they're raising money, they're doing exactly what a lot of us are doing, um, and and then when they get there, they have to make a change. Um, and, and it's really good to have ears in Washington who un, who've been in operating rooms, who've taken care of patients, who understand the fundamentals of medicine. Um, when we have doctors that are in office who or in policy, we have a lot of doctor, you know, again, a lot of MPH, MD, P, MDs, people who like a major architects of Obamacare, they were not practicing. Very, they weren't in front of people. And, and in the trenches every day. So you didn't get a sense that what they constructed made any sense. Like the electronic record implementation, if anyone had ever been practicing would realize it, it was completely opposite of the workflow of a hospital setting or a clinic setting. And yet, so somewhere along the way when they were designing that, the user experience, they didn't think of the end user. So to use tech terms, you know, mm -hmm. we have to design a system or policy, and we have to think of our end users. And the end users in healthcare are patients and doctors. Right. Those are the ultimate end users, right? Yep. Um, yeah, and, and yet, yet the, the, the biggest system in they, healthcare yeah, is designed for the middlemen. Yeah. It's just designed, for, we think about the insurers and we think mm -hmm. of the payers, the employers. Right. We do not actually put the doctors and patients into mm -hmm. that equation.